In today's video I'm gonna show you how I use particles in Adobe After Effects and then with simple tricks, simple techniques I'm gonna show you how you can put those particles into another level and at the end I'm gonna show you a breakdown of the scene that you could see at the beginning. Stay till the end. Okay, so the first step would be to create a composition. You can see that I have a composition ready to go. It's basically 4K resolution, so 3840-2160. So the first step would be to have a logo. So I already have a logo and I'm gonna go with this one. This is a logo that I found on the internet. It's, it's already in a vector shape. For this particular effect that we are gonna do, it doesn't matter if this is a vector file or if this is a JPEG file. You can use whatever you want here. I just have this logo and gradient ramp on it. And now let's pre-compose it. So right mouse button on the layer and then pre-compose. Let's name it Lego. So with this pre-compose thing we can just later change the logo and the particles are gonna work with this new logo. Let's go and create a layer new solid and here we're gonna add an effect which is called Particolor. This is an effect from Red Giant. I totally recommend them. You can generate really nice effects really really quick. And here we need to tweak some values because right now if we solo this layer we can see that we have something like this. So we already have some particles. So we're gonna go to emitter. Let's add a bit more particles. Let's go with 10,000 for now. Make sure also that you have a resolution change to quarter because this particle effect is really, really CPU heavy. And now what we would like to do, what we'd like to change here is to emitter type. And we want to change this from point to layer. And we go to layer emitter and we choose our composition. Okay, and we have this window. We need to make sure that our layer is 3D layer. How to do this? Really simple step. We select our layer and click here, toggle switches to show those boxes and we click here. And our layer is 3D layer right now and particle can work with it. Let's hide the logo layer for now. We can see that we have something like this right now. We can start with increasing particles but be really careful with this because they can be really 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 cpu heavy we have something like this and i would like to emit those particles in a specific way that's how i usually do this i will create let's solo this layer i'll create a mask and we're gonna start here at the beginning and do something like this then we go to mask path and we are gonna animate the path and we just do something like this and we also increase the mask feather. Okay. We can make it quicker a bit. And now let's see how the particles behaves. So really important thing. Now let's make sure that in our layer emitter we also selected effects and masks. In this way the particles are gonna read our masks properly. So you can see that we have those particles emitting from left to right. And now we can just tweak those values and have fun with it, what nice results we can get from it. I'm gonna change the ve velocity, increase the velocity random to 80%. I'm gonna change emitter size Z to maybe 50. Okay, this looks nice. We're gonna go to environment and add a bit of gravity. Okay, maybe just a tiny bit. And the wind effect is the one that we are gonna use. So let's put 150. Increase it even more, 500. Let's go to higher turbulence and here affect position, let's put 90. So the particles behaves a bit, a bit more random. So we can see right now it looks much, much better. And let's also move with wind, change to 50. It looks nice. And now let's go to particle, change the life to 10. So the particles are gonna live a bit longer. Size random, let's put 100% or maybe not, this is too much. Let's put 50. So we have a different sizes of those particles. Opacity random, let's also select, put here maybe 70%. Okay, this looks much, much better. Go to size of our life and add a preset. 
and let's see how it looks. This looks nice. Okay, and now let's also pass it over life. And let's add maybe this one. Let's see how it looks. Okay, this should be nice. So I'm gonna tweak mask a bit to make sure that those particles are not gonna stay in the place at the end. Just tweak here this and do maybe something like this. So we have those particles and bam, they are moving away. And now let's add more particles at the beginning. So I'm gonna add another zero here. Oh, you can see that there was a warning that this is really really a lot so maybe let's go with five here okay this looks better this looks really really nice so for the particle tutorial that would be basically it that's the way how i use particular effect to create particles but what i really like to do with those particles is to render those particles and then reverse those particles in the post so this is my composition uh, for the intro video that you could see at the beginning of those of this tutorial so basically what i have here is a blue background then i have a small light this is just a shape with a fast box blur on it and then i have a bit of water which also has a blur effect on it and here here are my particles with a deep glow effect on it so you can see that without deep glow they look something like this they have a bit a bit of turbulent displays to give them a bit more randomness so with deep glow it looks something like this and here i have just a simple layer of particles which i found on pexels site pexels.com site then i created from our logo composition a vegas effect to add a bit of a stroke animation. Then I put our logo with a simple opacity animation. So we have our particles reversed. So what I did, I just basically clicked right mouse button and then just time enable time remapping and reverse layer. And you can see that I use a lot of deep glow here and there. And I also added a water effect on those layers. I just use a simple track mate. Then we have some flare effect going on. Just a simple flare, which I also found on pexels.com site. Then we have simple curves effect. I just play a bit with, with those colors curves. And then here we have a few effects going on. The first one is a simple CC vignette. Then I added levels just to animate the intro. And then I really wanted to bring this avatar logo to the front. So I added a shine effect. So here particles and then shine. And again, we have curves here. I added optic compensation from the beginning to the appearance of the logo. So here you can see that the optic is going back to zero and quick chromatic aberration to add this chromatic aberration effect. And then I created a depth map. It's a simple gradient map to later add it to our camera lens blur effect. So a bit of camera lens blur effect to add this nice blur at the sides. So here if I put it on full resolution, you can see that it blur the sides really nice and a bit of turbulent displays at the whole image to just add a bit of displacement. And at the end, just a simple noise to reduce banding effect as much as possible. A really small value, two on lightness and two on saturation. So if you would like to check this file and see exactly what I did here and there, you can find this file on Gumroad and the link is down in the description. And what can I see more? That's basically how I use those particles. It's all about your imagination. Just use, use your eyes, see what works best for your work and have fun. Okay, and let's see the final result. And that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something from this. Please give a like, comment and subscribe to see more of this kind of videos. You can follow me up on Instagram. The link is down in the description. Let me know in comments what would you like to see next and what can I say more. To the next time. Bye.